All right. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. It's Tragic Life here. <clears throat> Last episode, we beat the end. Yep. It's not right. There's also, uh, I just learned, I didn't know this. Um, I'm glad I didn't know this. <clears throat> but you can cheese that fight by entering the famous Konami code up, down. Let me double check. Up, down, left, left. Is it the full Konami code? Yeah, it's the original Konami code. So up, up, down, down, left, 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 right, left, right. And it will show you where he is on the map. I'm glad I didn't do it that way. All right, so let me make sure that we are, in fact, where we need to be and it didn't, for some reason, not save. Wouldn't be the first time this game has done that. Um... Um... Am I not seeing it? Please don't tell me we gotta redo this fight. Did I not pick up his rifle? Didn't I put, pick up the rifle? I could have sworn I picked up his rifle. Um... For some reason, I didn't pick it up. Okay. I was a little worried, like, no, don't make me do this again. Alright. Uh, so, last time we beat the end. Um, pistol versus sniper. Somehow I won. Um... I kind of showed you a couple things of how to do it and a couple things of how not to do it. But we were able to beat him and get the Masaga. I did not sneak up on him three times and held him up for his suit. <clears throat> there were a couple things I left out when fighting him. He can actually get his stamina back by calling upon nature. And if you leave him alone long enough, he will actually fall asleep and start regaining his stamina. So, yeah, there is that. So, we're about to get one of the most iconic... And I mean iconic scenes from this game. Um, I'm going to talk all the way through it because I promise you I'm going to get a, a damn copyright for it. I already know. So before you leave, go ahead and shoot that. But this, this, is, this is a very iconic scene. So we're going to keep talking because, boy, I don't, I, I really don't want the copyright. All right, I know you're here. All right. Um, so, yeah, uh, go ahead and hit that like button, that subscribe button, and uh, leave me a comment. This right here is going to be a long climb. Can we look all the way up, or will it not let us? But, yeah, this is going to be a long climb, and right now the music coming into the background because that's part of this thing. So I have to talk because otherwise I'm going to get a big copy right here and it's going to block out the sound of this. Although that might not necessarily be a bad thing because all you're going to see or hear is me climbing and talking. I know Charlie. Do you want up here? It's Charlie's second birthday for those that are aware of my Boston Terrier here. and He's been getting a lot of love this weekend. Um, he's down here with Dad while Dad plays his video games. Um, I will pause it for when she screams. You ready? All right, I think we're going to get it right now. Are we going to get it? Nope, not yet. I'm going to keep talking. I have nothing to talk about, but we're going to talk. Um, <clears throat> well, I guess I can talk about work. So, for those that don't know, uh, one of the reasons why my life has gotten busy in these videos, I'm struggling. I'm, I'm struggling on getting these videos on time. is because I went from my site supervisor at a security job where I didn't really do much, um, to now I'm a probation officer with around 200 cases. And there's always something to do. And then 
last week, um, two of our probation officers were fired in the same week. So it's been a little bit um, chaotic to say the least. Uh, I love it. No complaints. I love talking to people. I love help. I feel like I'm helping some people. Um, I'm helping those that want it. You can't help those that don't. Come on, come, come on up. Oh, were you? Uh, okay, so um, I didn't think we'd be done yet. Okay, Charlie, I love you, but really bad time. So yeah, that that's that's a very iconic scene. I, I remember it being a lot longer than that. Weird. That wasn't that long. Um, all right. So we're gonna keep going. But yeah, so I'm a probation officer, and I'm I'm in a level two accounting class, which I am not very good at math. I'm not gonna pretend like I am. I'm very good with psychology and understanding people and talking to people and talking. But math. That was, well, I uh, yes, I yell uh, you too. Why why is your face in my mouth? Why is your face in my face? Charlie loves that. Okay, so there are some things to grab here. We're going to go do what we can. Charlie, you're making this very hard to play. Um, is there anything to worry about here? So, Sierra... Da, 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 da. Charlie, if you keep licking that, I'm going to kick you off. You're making it very hard to play this video game, sir. I love you, but stop it. All right. So this is going to be the one. If you if you got the animal from uh, taking out Ocelot with this. Hey, quit licking that. With, by taking out Ocelot with the uh, Trank Gun, then you'll have a good option here as well. I didn't do that. All right. Um... Charlie. Off. Seriously, you're licking the table, bro? See a scorpion. Let's check our backpack or our food because it's been a while. Yeah, that's bad. We weren't going to eat it anyway. Oh, the vine melon went bad. Dang it. I'm going to hate my life. Yeah, pretty good. This is probably going to poison me. and cure the food poisoning. One of those is gonna work. I'm probably gonna still throw it. White rumped vulture. I could go for seconds. Okay, well, I wasn't expecting it to be that good, but okay. Let's see. We have to be careful in here. Oh, I see you. Somebody is about to take a nap. Oh. 
Oh, there's another one. through here we're also going to be looking for um, don't bite me leave me alone All right. make sure there's no scorpion in this tunnel because that would really suck This gentleman. That's not what I wanted to do. So, that part wasn't so bad. Okay, so we gotta be careful here because this is where things get a little bit more serious. Because, you may remember a section where we could destroy a helicopter. This is where that helicopter comes into play. I'm actually going to... Switch out, or not switch out, but I'm going to add. Does this weapon not have a sniper? Or a uh, silencer, okay, so it doesn't. So that was fun. Um, so took the two guys out. And yeah, we're moving to the back. And okay, we got SVD bullets. Alright, so I need to kill this scorpion before it kills me. I'm gonna eat this one here. 
Ah. Probably nasty. What is this? I figured it would be. Alright, so we're gonna crawl as much as we can. Oh, that's cool. The vulture is literally eating the guy. So if you take out the helicopter, which is a piece of pain in the butt, I'm not gonna lie, the helicopter is a pain in the butt. However, if you take out the helicopter in that section, you'll get the guys on hovercrafts, which are actually worse. Um, be right back. I wanted to make sure I knew where the frog is. So there should be someone up here. I don't see them. Uh, there's caves. There, so let's go ahead and check the caves. There's a lot of caves. Okay, can you get in the cave? Is that a scorpion? I just walked walk by. Crawl by. what that noise was that was I thought it was maybe a landmine or something like that. Can I take out the helicopter? Alright we're gonna keep crawling because that helicopter can see you. And a helicopter fight right now is not what we really want. that the helicopter hasn't noticed that his people are being eaten by birds, but we'll leave that alone. I saw you, bro. I'm gonna leave you alone for a second. Yeah. <laughs> 
this comfortable crawling here because it's very easy to fall off. Once I take everything out, I might take out the bubble. I haven't decided. I mean, I'm, I'm having a pretty easy path up here. I mean, it's taking a lot of stamina, but I, I, I... They don't know I'm here. And I kind of like it. Okay, um... Oh, hey, guys. Oh, don't move. Alright, we got our RPG. I mean, really, how could I have not done that? Like, that was such a thing I had to do. Like, everyone had to die. I mean, it's not personal, but I would have felt really weird if I just let them all live, you know what I mean? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, and we're going to move a little bit forward here, and I think this is probably a good place to save. Saving the game, Snake? No, ma'am. Just calling you on the save channel because I forgot your other number. <sighs> All right. Let's see what she's got to talk Snake, about. Which movie? Have you ever seen the War of the Worlds? No. These flying saucers from Mars arrive on Earth disguised as meteorites. The saucers use their heat rays to attack the nearby towns. And then, um... Something wrong. Uh, the thing is, I was too scared to watch. I had my eyes shut almost the whole time. Then you haven't seen it. No, it's not that. It's based on a novel by H.G. Mm -hmm. Wells. You haven't seen it, have you? 
That does remind me, though. When I was two years old, my father listened to the radio drama version of the story. It was right after dinner on Sunday, and we were relaxing in the living room. They said monsters had come out of a meteorite that landed in New Jersey. It sounded just like a real live news broadcast. My father said he and my older brother actually believed it and started yelling and panicking. My mother supposedly grabbed me from my crib and took me out to the car, still wrapped up in blankets. But then, just as my dad was about to start the car, he realized that it was all just a radio drama. Because on the car's radio, they were playing Bing Crosby tunes. No matter what station he turned to, no one else seemed to be reporting on this big history-making news story. Sounds like something out of the big broadcast. Nobody said a word. We all went back to our rooms. My father and brother got off with a scolding from my mother, but I was the one who really suffered. After that incident, every time I acted up, my father and brother would scare me by saying, the Martians are coming. That's terrible. Isn't it, though? So, you haven't seen the movie. I... I saw it. So... So even nuclear weapons wouldn't work against the Martian war machines. Uh-huh. Anyway, Snake, if you conceal yourself like the Martians did, the enemy won't know what hit them. Conceal myself? Maybe not in a meteorite, but if you can hide yourself inside something a little more close at hand. A box? Close at hand? Something like... A box! A box. Ah, I get it. So, you never saw the movie. I saw it, alright? You never saw the movie. Okay, so, a couple things I gotta add to that, because that's great. That story is actually something we were told as kids that really happened. Apparently that was aired and it caused a massive nationwide panic. However, as a grown-up, I looked, uh, I read something that looked that up, and that story is false. It never actually happened. There's no proof that it ever happened, and there would be proof. So it's a cool story, but it's just kind of, it's kind of an urban legend. Um, and although she's never seen War of the World, that's one I've actually seen. Um, I saw the remake. I didn't see the original. I'm not that old. Um, I may have seen the original, honestly. But in the new one, um, nothing can stop them except for the air. I mean, they basically die from diseases because they're not immune. They're not in not inoculated to us. So yeah. Okay. Uh, having said that, um, I'll see you guys next time. I feel like this was actually a really smooth video. So hopefully the next one will be too. Maybe I'm getting better. Adios, amigos.